So we're going to start looking a little bit more in depth on these frequency tables now that we know how to use the interval column. Now I'm going to just apply that to uh, this here and this uh, data of points scored by players this season on the basketball team. All right, so I want six intervals with a width of 30 starting at 40. So the first thing to do is to create this interval column and then we'll tally and get and count up those tallies for the frequency column. Shouldn't be too bad. All right, so my frequency table should have six rows because I want six intervals. And now I want a width of 30 starting at 40. So I know that this is going to start at 40 and go to some number. All right, I want the width to be 30, so that means I'm going to be adding... 30 all the way down this way here, so plus 30. 40 plus 30 is 70. Adding another 30 is going to be 100. Adding another 30 is 130. Adding another 30 is going to be 160. And then lastly, our last interval is going to start with another adding 30 gives me up to 190. So 40 plus 30 is 70, 70 plus 30 is 100, 100 plus 30 is 130, so on and so forth. That looks all good here. All right, well, if this interval starts, the second interval here starts at 70, that means that this first interval must end at 69. And that means and if this one goes from 70 up to what? Well, a hundred, this one starts at 100, so this one must end at 99. We could also be adding 30 each time here. All right, so this next interval, the third interval starts at 100, goes up to a number. We can either add 30 to 99, or we can say, well, this next interval starts at 130, so this one must end at the number before 130, which is 129. This one goes from 132. Well, this is 160, so this must be 159. This one must end at 100 and 89. Now I don't have another interval to look at, so we're just going to do add 30, and I'm going to erase all this stuff in just a minute. Adding 30 here. Oh, software kind of messed up there. Sorry, guys. Add another 30 here, and that's going to be, let's see here. 219. Now, there we go. All right, I'm going to clear up, clean this up just a little bit. I'm going to get rid of my adding over here. Clean this up, make it look a little nicer. All right, now my frequency table looks a little more organized. Now we're going to go through and do our tallies. Okay, now you guys should know how to do this. You should have your tallies now. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video and get all those tally marks into your frequency table in your notes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and actually pause this for a second. I'm going to do it myself so you guys don't have to watch me make all these tallies. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to show you just how it starts, and I'll finish it up. I've got my first data point, 81. Well, 81 lies between 70 and 99, so that gets a tally. 122 lies between 100 and 129, so that gets a tally in here, so on and so forth. 217 is in this interval, and so on and so forth. All right, so I went ahead and just skipped ahead really quickly. Uh, we've got all of our data points in there. I made sure to cross them off as I went. I ended up with these tallies right here, so go ahead and pause the video and check this with yours. Should have ended up with a frequency of 2, 10, 10, 3, 3, and 2. We can add these up and then check with how many data points we have here. It's not too hard to count how many data points we have here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 per row. So 10, 20, 30 here. I got 10, 30, sorry, 10 per row and then three rows. So 30 data points. So if I add all these up, I should also get the 30. Um, see, 2 plus 10 is 12, plus 10 is 22, uh, plus 3 is 25, plus 3 is 28, plus 2 is 30. So I do have a total of 30 data points here. So we're good to go here. I'm good with moving on past it. There's our frequency table. Uh, not too hard. The hard. Again, the hardest part of all this is making, I think, the interval tables. 
the interval column, I mean. And the longest part of it is tallying. Um, so just take your time on it, make it look good, and make sure you're doing it right. All right, here's one for you to try. I want seven intervals with a width of 10 starting at zero. So I'll get your first one started and you can finish off the rest, okay? This one, it says I want to start at zero. So this is gonna go from zero to something. Zero dash what? Well, it might help to know what you're going to add here to start your next interval. Okay, pause the video and go from there. Remember, you want seven intervals, so you need seven rows this time, not six. All right, so are with this 10, so I know I'm going to be adding 10 each time. 0 plus 10 is 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 10 is 30. Plus 10 is 40. Plus 10 is 50. Plus 10 is 60. So now I know what all the intervals are going to start with. I can work backwards to kind of tell what they're going to end with. Well, if this Right here, it starts at 10, then this one must end with 9. This one starts with 20, then this one must end in 19, and so on and so forth here. This one starts in 30, so this one must end in 29. You'll also note that this is adding that same width of 10 each time. Okay. So this next one's going to be 39, plus 10 is 49, plus 10 is 59, plus 10 is 69. Really easy way to go about that. I'm going to clean up my frequency table now. First things first, guys, check this interval column. Did you get it right? Because if you didn't, then you need to go back and fix it and start over again. Again, I know you might be going, oh, but I don't want to. Do it anyway. Do the right thing. Make right choices be awesome. All right, after you get all these interval columns correct, now you need to go through and tally everything. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and go through this by myself and then you guys can check your answer with mine. All right. So now I have my tallies done. I just went through one at a time and tallied them once at a time. So check your tallies with mine. Did you get the same as me? If not, go back and check. Maybe I'm wrong. Prove it though. All right, and the last thing is to get the frequency, which is just the count of your tallies. One, three, we've got one tally here, two tallies here, one tally here, uh, five, 10, 12 here, and eight here. And there is a way to check to make sure you've got enough data. You should do so, and then we're gonna move on. All right, on your Canvas portion on this next uh, question, it's gonna ask you to type in the intervals, okay? Uh, the way you're just going to type it in is exactly how you're writing it. 0 dash 9. 10 dash 19. Okay? Go ahead and give that a shot. Uh, but before you can do that, make sure you're highlighting all those important parts in your notes, summarizing them, and asking any questions you may have. Maybe you need to see another example. Well, there are teachers in the room to help you. So raise your hand. Don't be shy. Good luck.